hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine tutorial series so today i'm going to implement this uh, enemies shooting arrows so as you can see now the enemy has seen me and he's going to shoot arrows at me like this okay i died so that's what i am going to cover today and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me okay so first in order to work with uh, arrows uh, by default the character does not have any arrows so first i'll add some arrows to the inventory of the character i can do it like this in the begin play of the ch human i'll at the end i'll do something like this let's get a reference to inventory And add res update resource count. Call this using the inventory interface. And the resource type should be arrows. And the change I'll give 10. So then by default I should have some arrows right okay I got arrows and since I have done it this in the CH human CH enemy is also a child class of CH human and therefore the enemy will also have the arrows now let's see how do I equip the bow actually i have done it here under fight and under bow and arrow i use this input action door draw arrow and also i use this draw i have created this draw arrow interface method as well so i'll modify this a little bit Draw arrow with the boolean enable and by default it must be true like this so I'll add a branch like this and connect it here and if it is false I'll connect it like this okay so what's next shall we test this out by calling the draw arrow function event let's add a delay first about three seconds and let's call draw arrow with a true so let's see what happens to the enemy character actually I have no idea right he equips and he just keep walking with the arrow in hand Let's go closer. I just need to check whether this guy has an arrow or not. Well, it seems he don't have an arrow. Only the bow. Well, why is that? Let's... Mm -hmm. Let's 
let's see this is where that part takes place it seems the problem happens here here I attach the error only if my current web number is larger than zero so I think I need to connect this one like this now let's see and let's go closer yeah now this character has an arrow but the bow animation bow string is not pulled back let's see why that happens now B. Yeah, I mean, I enable input. Maybe this is the case. Let's check the. No, that should not be the case. Where is the bow? Uh oh, I think where do I access this book? All right, I think that happens in this enable aim in mode. Yeah, and I haven't implemented enable aim in mode in the ch human. I have implemented that. I should have implemented that here. Yeah, just like I thought. Well, actually, I did implement this, but I don't remember. So, okay, right. So I do this toggle charge weapon here and I think I can put this part in the CH human like this I'll cut this And I'll implement enable aim in mode ah, I already have it like this at the branch and compile okay now quickly check whether that worked let's go closer yep it is working this time so the next step is look at the enemy and shoot and inside the BPA human human animation blueprint I use this set upper body rotation and this upper body rotation variable to rotate my character towards the aiming location by modifying this spine so if you don't remember this is what happens when I am aiming with the bow my character's upper body rotates to align the bow to the target location the direction that i'm looking at like this so we need we do this actually we update the target rotation this uh, upper body rotation variable 
from the character blueprint of the player so this is the player character blueprint and in the tick I update it like this get the control rotation and set upper body rotation so yeah let's uh, before that let's uh, work on this for now I have called this draw arrow like this so instead of doing that I'll do that in my behavior tree like this when I have to attack well first I'll ignore this part completely how to delete them can't delete them ah, okay I can do this break links right so I'll ignore this part for a while and then I'll create a task to shoot arrow like this t shoot arrow mm -hmm. get the control port draw arrow enable draw arrow and add a delay of one second and then hmm, what is the function I should call to shoot the arrow let's check I think it should be attack oh, I haven't connected attack so yeah I'll connect it Add a branch if I am drawing arrow. If I'm not drawing arrow, I'll just call draw attack AI attack. If I am drawing an arrow, I'll call this and then here get the control point. Oh, what's the method again? I forgot it. Event AI attack. AI attack. And finish. And I think I should wait. Oh, I need to call it shoot arrow and wait let's say four seconds all right let's see what happens let's get the attention of the enemy now he has detected us Okay, he equipped the bow and he shot it, but he is not aiming at us. Okay, but we are making progress.
all right so what's the next step I think the problem is this part I use this get target function and here for the ch human I only return the forward vector but for the player I return the camera get world location and get the direction that I'm aiming so yeah so maybe instead of returning ch human if I have an enemy uh, let's see if I have a locked enemy I'll return his location like this get actor location Let's see now what happens. Okay. The arrow hit. But right, I am dead okay so it is working but something is off the problem is this once i press fire this my arrow takes flight but uh, for the enemies it seems there is a little delay see that is a problem why is that maybe is this the problem okay so let's try avoiding this part and let's see how it looks now Okay, now he detected me and he's Okay, I got hit by an arrow and the second arrow and I died All right, so I'm going to stop at this point and we still have to uh, rotate the anime character to exactly match the player's location so i will cover that part in the next episode for and also i need to switch between melee combat and arrow shooting based on the distance from the player to the enemy character and i will do cover that part in future as well and thanks for watching if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of my Patreon club. Link would be in the description below. And also I will upload a source code update soon. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.